Father, we have the fire and the wood, but where is the sheep for the burnt offering? My son, God will provide for himself the lamb for a burnt offering. strength as I do what you ask of me this day. Writing a script for a Superbook episode would, at first glance, seem really easy. After all, the story has already been written. For director Paul Richardson, the difficulty is translating the story of Abraham and Isaac to a modern audience. So we try to take the story and simply make it something that is relatable and relevant to a child's life. Making it exciting for viewers is one goal for producer Aaron Zimmerman. I got to see the Abraham and Isaac episode. You could hear a pin drop in the theater. These kids are glued. Superbook provides a creative way to tell the next generation of kids about the stories found in the greatest selling book of all time. The Bible is an edgy book, and we needed to do it in a way that kids would be drawn to it, kids would be captivated by it, but also at that point something would resonate in their hearts because at the core of it is a Bible story. The theme of the latest episode, The Test, is about sacrificing our own desires for God's plan, a pretty heavy subject for children to grasp. But the creative team of producers and writers who design each Superbook episode work hard to make biblical concepts easy to understand. We try to focus in and what are the dilemmas kids go through today? Oh, the hospital's done everything to grant his wish, but the games are impossible to get anywhere. Do I remember you saying Crispin knew someone at Virtual Bender? Oh, I'm sorry, Debbie. My husband already called in a favor with a friend to get a Hollow Nine for Chris. Oh, well, it was worth a try. Thanks, Phoebe. I'm sure I'll think of something else to boost his spirits. Enjoy the game, son. What's the matter, Chris? I don't know. This game is my dream come true, and somehow, I don't really feel the way I thought I would. The scripts constantly go through a refining process, even from script to animatic, story reel, to the final product. Throughout the process, writers tweak the scripts until the dialogue is just right. We do take great pains to really refine it down so that we are telling the biblical story as accurately as possible within that 22 minute time frame. Then they have to find the right people to play each character. That is part of the casting process, to find actors and performers that can take the actual scripture and make it sound relevant, to make it sound real, to make it have that motivation behind it that sounds like the characters are speaking it off the cuff. My scanner to indicate it is a personal jetpack, only far more compact and efficient than any previous design. It probably wouldn't hurt if you just, you know, tried it on, maybe? See? No problem. And now I'll just put it back in. Some of these stories are so exciting. They have adventure and war and betrayal and things like that. So we don't play with the Bible story. Now where our wiggle room comes in, or we have two kids and a robot to play with. And that's kind of where our creativity comes. Joy, Giz, we've got to get these animals back. I am on it, Chris. Sometimes writers have to make decisions about scenes that are not vividly described in the Bible. For example, should the sacrifice scene occur during the day or the evening? We decided to have the binding of Isaac at night as an extra reminder, the stars are out there. Abraham, God made you this promise. And so even in the midst of him holding the knife, even in the midst of him looking at his son on the altar and thinking, this is the end of my son, this is the end of my lineage, 
there those stars are, and that's God's promise to Abraham. Your generation, your seed is going to be as many as these stars, the nation of Israel. And so we decided to make it at night because it brings that promise full circle. And you see the stars and you remember Abraham's promise. My son, father. Isaac, get the ram and we will offer it for the burnt offering. The Lord has provided. Through your descendants, all the nations of the earth will be blessed, all because you have obeyed me.